devastating. It certainly is. And it just goes to show that really while Mother Nature plays her part, we have a big role to play as well. I mean, that uh, all that blockage is, of course, down to human beings. Speaking of Mother Nature, movement in the Earth's crust and the volcanic activities within the Great Rift Valley are the major reasons for the appearance of cracks in the Earth, especially in the Susuamaimahio area. Now, the current rains that are pounding the area could be doing very little, in fact, to trigger the activity underground. And with the recent crack that destroyed sections of a major highway happening for the second time in less than five years, Geologists are now warning of future disasters as a result of the ground splitting by a few millimetres every single day. NTV's Leila Mohammed spoke to geologist David Adede on the happenings in the area. Maji mingi likuwa ina, inaingia hapa ndani na saa ya hapa yoni. So mini kuna shimo hapa ndani ambayo ni kubwa. Those who experienced what they described as a mini earthquake seconds before the earth burst open Tuesday night, cracking and splitting the road into two parts, believe it was an act of God. However, experts see it as a force of nature. Many years in the making, all this activity slowly happening deep in the earth every single day without us even noticing. The Rift Valley is actually a valley that is cutting, splitting Africa almost into two. We have uh, two plates. The Somali plate, which is moving away uh, from the rest of the African plate, actually at a rate of uh, 2.5 centimeters per year. So eventually you're going to have a com complete two continents. You're going to have the Somali continent and you're going to have the Nubian continent, that's the rest of Africa. Geologist David Adede describes what the area at the floor of the Great Rift Valley is experiencing as volcanic activity. The presence of Mount Longonot, which still has signs of volcanic activity in that area, is associated with the cracks appearing as deep as a kilometer into the ground. And that's why we have uh, geothermal power in Rift Valley. We have glaciers coming down from beneath because the ground is always opening up. We have uh, like tremors and earthquakes that are happening almost on a day-to-day basis though they are too feeble to be felt by, uh, by, 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 without the aid of the instruments. So these are things that are always moving and because of this movement there's a lot of zones of weaknesses being created within the earth surface. So sometimes when we are doing the roads we just look at the superficial uh, layers and, and then we do the, 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 the foundation very well. Those who witnessed the occurrence Tuesday night say that the floodwaters that had submerged the area disappeared into the earth as if there was a drainage system in the area. Within minutes, all the water sunk into the earth and cracks began to show. The lack of rock about 10 meters deep into the ground is also said to be a contributor to the weak nature of the soil, more so dangerous for roads and residential areas. It's basically the fissures, there are faults, there are cracks within the earth's surface that are being caused by this uh, plate uh, tectonic movement. That is two, these two masses of the land moving apart. While temporary measures are being put in place to ensure that one part of the country is not cut off from the rest of the world, geologists say that it is more important for engineers, geologists and other experts to sit and conduct intense research to understand the terrain where major structures like roads will be constructed, while putting into consideration acts of God or natural occurrences if you like, in order to mitigate damage if and when the unpredictable happens. Lila Mohamed. NTV. I mean, those pictures are just absolutely shocking. It doesn't seem like just a crack. It is literally a shift in the earth. And she mentioned earlier, uh, Leila, to me that this is actually five kilometers. The fault line is five kilometers long. So it doesn't give me so much confidence going back to uh, my upcountry. Uh, if it's only that section of the Suswa Road that has been uh, patched up. So won't be too sure about that. And it's something that we need to follow up. Good job there with uh, Leila Mohammed's report and especially hearing from the geologist. Yeah, and of course, uh, you know, do keep your distance. That is pretty close to that crack and uh, you just don't know what could happen. So please, please do exercise caution during this heavy rainy season. Your safety is paramount. All right, on that.